Hi there, long time no see. I have to apologize for not posting lately, but I have a back pain issue that uh, is very like severe and it hurts to the point where I can barely walk. So I didn't feel creative nor inspired to make videos. Hope you don't mind. But I decided to make a series of videos where I show you how I'm making an app as a side project. From the idea to the app in the App Store and Google Play. This process might help you figure out how agile teams work in their essence. While my workflow is quite streamlined, it uses all good practices when it comes to making products. Now let's talk about the product I'm making and why. Many people use apps for budget tracking. It is essential if you want to know where your money goes and where to optimize if you want to save money. I have been trying to use variety of mobile apps, but they're all somehow bad and failed me. I figured I can use my frustration and learning to make a better app for budgeting. It's based on a simple idea of very fast expense and income input with a nice interface many tools today lack. After I'm done with designing, I will have to learn Flutter and Dart and actually code it. That will come in next installment and I will talk about more uh, about coding more later on. But now let's focus in this video on product documentation and design. It all starts with the idea that I explained, which led me to creating the first job to be done so I can figure out features in MVP. A lot of acronyms there, but for those who are hearing about job to be done framework for the first time, it's a simple technique where you form a problem statement like this. S who, like insert subject here, and then what. So let's use an example to clarify this framework. As a user, I want to quickly input my expenses on the go. So we have who and what. So you're not thinking about design or UX patterns at this stage. You're just mapping all the issues and wishes that users might have. Of course, if you have done some research, this part should be fairly straightforward. Do your research. Now let's see FigJam and my work and let's talk more about project documentation and design. So now here I opened my FigJam where I put my very condensed documentation that will help me figure out the whole project. So um, I mentioned job to be done. So I use this framework over here. I wrote as a user, I want to input my expenses quickly. I want to input my income quickly and so on. You can observe all these tasks in your own time. You can pause the video, but basically this will allow me to determine the basic feature set for MVP or version one. And now that I know what I'm building and what kind of features I need to showcase in version one, then on to extremely, I cannot emphasize this more extremely important part, and that is figuring out information architecture. So this is actually quite a crucial step in any uh, app building process because this will determine scalability of the app. It will determine how fast you can implement new features without compromising um, usability of the app. So what I mean by that is if you don't think through navigation um, and how, you know, how users will move around your app, then you're in problem. So over here, I wanted to make things extremely simple. So I decided I'm going to have three main top level menu items that will allow uh, people to input or uh, input uh, expenses and um, incomes. Also observe transactions in timeline and then in profiles set some stuff like budget and so on. That makes sense for, for my app and I benchmarked with other tools and it seems this is a way to go. So I didn't spend like weeks uh, figuring that out, but usually you might think about actually doing a research like card sorting technique or something like that to figure out uh, best top level items in your menu. Uh, so I decided to have categories, timeline and profile. So in categories, this is a main entry point for inputting your expenses and income. Then in timeline, you can observe all the transactions in a list and then profile as a profile, some admin stuff. And then on to design. So over here, I will zoom out a little bit. So as you can see, I have few 
um, like benchmarking pictures over here that will help me determine some UI patterns. And first I started to mock dark interface, but then I decided maybe not a great idea. How about I go one step back and then start with light theme and then maybe in next video actually showcase how to transform from light theme to dark theme. So this is what we have. If you will, um, I'm using Figma beta, uh, so beta, so I have this uh, layouts over here, but just dismiss that I need to turn this off when I commit to designing again. But basically I wanted to tackle main problems in this app. So I started with categories and then I have some designs for timeline as well. So in categories, you can easily put more categories. Um, and this is how you actually enter your uh, income or expense. You just tap on category. So it's pre-selected and then this view would open. You would put some uh, monetary value. Then you can add a tag and while edit, you can also manage tags. So if you would press on this plus over here, uh, this view would open. You can see your tags over here. You can delete them. You can search or if you start typing something that's not in database, then you would see this uh, button add new. This means that you would just add this new tag and it will be selected over here. Of course, you, of course you can multi-select over here, but that doesn't make, make my, much sense. So I need to think about whether to allow it or not. And then on to timeline. So we have our balance. We have spent uh, money and income. So balance basically means money you have in a uh, predefined uh, time range. So that will probably be one month. You can set that up in profile. I will see if I can um, flesh out these controls here as well, probably. So that means if I'm getting my salary, let's say 15th of month, then from 15th to 15th, this is my balance. And I believe this way uh, people can actually have a better understanding how much money they actually have left and how much are they saving or, or spending. Of course, if you would tab on um, like one of these uh, items in a list, you would enter into editing mode, which is basically reusing this view over here. This is it when it comes to design. Um, this is like my third iteration or something like that. I'm not too happy how it looks right now. I need to iterate some more. I have already some ideas how to improve it. I also need to find a uh, better icon package to um, kind of have better icons for all these, all these categories. I might think, I, I'm thinking like uh, Font Awesome might be the best choice for that, but l later, um, I, I will showcase icons later in some other video. Uh, and then next step once design is done and i still have like maybe a few days uh, to design this thing fully then uh, i need to actually learn flutter and dart and i'm already starting um, i think i made like 10 percent progress so far uh, i purchased some tutorial from udemy for uh, ever known to, to, uh, tutor max uh, schwarzmuller <laughs> he's the best. Uh, I mean, his tutorials are really something else. I warmly uh, recommend. I will put the link below. And this is it for this video. In the next one, I will show you my progress uh, in the meantime. If you like this video, please put like and also subscribe. That means so much to me. Let's grow this channel together. And until next time, ciao skip.